All right, so in this one, we're going to pull up the Dream Station in Sonar. I'm going to open up the Lesson 3 assignments so we can get this started. So the purpose of this one is just to find a patch uh, within the Dream Station that you like for an already recorded MIDI part. So I'm going to click OK, get this going. So if you run into this, we'll have to create our own Dream Station um, from scratch, which is very simple to do. Uh, so if this one isn't going to work for you, then... Yeah, that one's not working. So if that's not working, then click on Insert, put your mouse over Soft Synth, and select DSDXI2. That's short for Dream Station and then the version number. So you can leave all this at default. Click OK. And then you have this. So everything except for the melody here is going to the TTS1, so we're fine on that. So we can hear the beat, and that's all good. So the melody is actually going to the DS... Um, the, the dream station right now so we just want to make sure that the output is going there so let's expand this remember I have it on my IO settings so that way we can choose the input and output so right now here's the output slot If we click on this this is the dream station that's not currently working so let's just click on this one this is the one we just created so good to go on that so now look at the dream station outputs channel it happens to be channel 9 right now so if we double click on this this will pull up the Dream Station rack. So at the moment, there's no preset going here. So we just want to click on this and let's just pick a random one. Um, yeah, Rhodes. That, that'll work. Okay, so now that we have that patch loaded, now remember we have the output set to the melody. So if we just go to the melody, I'm going to solo this so we can double check it. The Dream Station is automatically soloed. So if I click on play, I'm just hitting spacebar right now. Yep, that's good. As you can see, getting output here and out of the Dream Station right there. That's how we know it's working. Okay, then you should be good to go after that. Uh, feel free to give me a call if you have any questions.